game time. We're not using we're not using conversions into real life time. You can't say, oh, I got it in real life time. I use my iPhone to time it, man. You can't say that. It's not gonna work. StarCraft two time. And if you get it, whoever gets closest gets a mod in my chat. That's what we're doing. The condition is you have to be following me on Twitter. That's the condition. I'm just kidding. Or should I do that? Should I do that? That would be so. That, that's so bad. <laughs> all right. So Emily forty two, write those all down. And at the two minute mark, it's no more guesses, okay? Can I get confirmation? Two minute mark, no more guesses. We are live, by the way. We are live here on the EU server. This is Millennium versus Absolute Legends. The SC two SL in top right hand location. The blue Protoss player representing Team Absolute Legends. It is Baby Knight. He took out Stefano in the last game. His opponent in the bottom left hand location, the Red Terran player Tarson from Team Millennium, Emily42, if you can't handle it, if you can't handle it, it's okay. Someone, someone please, like, start writing these down. You can't guess twice either. I might ask at the end and be like, alright, guys, if you, if you got close to it, let me know, and I may trust you guys. I don't know though. Trusting a thousand people? You guys are trustworthy. People people in my chat are trustworthy though. To be honest. But keep your eyes down. Alright. Four seconds. Three, two, one. No more guessing. No more guessing. I'm drawing a dash. No more guessing beyond this point. No more guessing. Alright. So above that line. Above that line. Thank you for participating. <laughs> I'm surprised how many people did. Um, Alright. Here's what's going on here. PVT. StarCraft 2 Survival League. This is an all kill format. Stefano won twice for Stefano, and Baby Knight took out Stefano, which means Millennium's going to be up 2-1. Millennium has to win two more to take this uh, clan war. This is the last match of the regular season. Top four go to the playoffs, if I recall correctly. Millennium is already in the playoffs. Absolute Legends fighting for their spot. This is going to be a PVT on Daybreak, and I'm already a little bit surprised at the opening from the Protoss player. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not surprised. A lot can change. Um, it looks like it's going to be a gasless fast expand from Tarson, considering he doesn't have any gases and is not making a proxy racks anywhere on the map. Patrolling a marine about, looking for any proxy pylons. Not a bad decision at all. And there's a command center. And Baby Knight sees what's going on. He had the probe there. Checking on the status of that. And he's going to put down a nexus of his own. Let's see. What, what kind of version is this? Let's see. Okay, he hasn't started warp gate. Warp gate stalker right away, right? Stalker? He has 50 gas, so I would expect him to wait for the minerals. Is he cutting probes? You can cut probe, like, you can cut a probe for a little bit, so just so you can get the stalker out. No, he's not cutting probes at all. Now he's going to get the stalker. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Question is, when is he going to add a second gas? Is he going to add on gateways? Is he going to try to do some pressure here? A lot of Protoss players, after going for that faster expand. They'll keep making probes, save up their money a little bit, though. And once warp gate is about, oh... Around 70. They'll add on two or three gateways and just go for some aggression. Other Protoss players, they will elect to get their second gas pretty soon. Get a faster robo. Other Protoss players will be like, alright, you're taking a fast natural? I'll take a fast third. It's doable on this map. The, the rush distance is, is far enough. The rush distance is far enough. Um, but he's not going to do that. He's just going to add two gateways. Pretty standard. Adding on a second gas. So very standard play. Kind of the middle of the road here. Not getting too many gateways out, not ignoring his tech. So going to be getting a second gas, adding on two gateways. The question is, is he going to be aggressive with this? You can, certainly, but it's very risky. Very risky, because it's not as many units where your opponent's going to be like super scared and terrified. But three gateways worth of reinforcement of Protoss gateway units, it's pretty darn scary if, if the Terran doesn't handle it correctly. Um, and it also mean, it, it's also based upon what the Terran is doing. He's doing like the same thing. Three racks, two gas. Three gateways, two gas. Pretty identical builds from both these players. But, uh, you know, Tarson is only going to have Marines on the map here. Ooh, taking out a Stalker. That's a big deal. Ooh, took down that probe, too. This pylon's still alive. And, okay, three Stalkers being warped in. This is kind of cool. If he can kill these Marines and let nothing get inside this bunker and just kite the Marines all day, that could be very good. Another Stalker coming forward here from Baby Knight. Targeting down this bunker. SCVs might even come repair that, even though there's nothing inside. It's kind of funny. Uh, but the Marine's going to come forward straight toward that bunker. You're going to try to target down a Stalker as he goes inside. A little bit of Miss Micro there from Baby Knight. Now that that bunker is finished, I don't see what Baby Knight can do. There's no way he can kill that, right? Where are the SCVs? Where are the SCVs? 
Oh, the bunker goes down. One stalker getting killed as well, but Baby Knight just needs to micro a little bit well. And look at this, there's no bunker here for Tarson, and Baby Knight all of a sudden is outside of his opponent's natural expansion, and he has stalkers. Stalkers against Marines and SCVs, they can call kite all freaking day, provided you micro correctly. Taking out SCVs here and there. Keep in mind, Stim is halfway done. Marauder on the way. Another barracks here from Tarson. Keeping his uh, weakened stalkers in the back is Baby Knight, making more and more stalkers. Keep in mind, this isn't all in. No, 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 it's not. There's three gateways. He has two gases. Adding on gases is natural expansion, implying he wants to tech relatively soon. Now a Marauder is on the field. That's going to change things a little bit. Stim is about 70% of the way done. This stalker is forced to be lit, or this, this command center is getting lift off here. And can he kill the orbital? And at what cost? He does kill it and gets a lot of stalkers away. Such cool play here from Baby Knight, putting himself in such a good situation in this game. And there is the leave game from Tarsen. Baby Knight equalizing the series 2-2. And we have a series on our hands between Millennium and Absolute Legends. In this best of seven, in this all-kill format, they are tied 2-2. Baby Knight showing he is perhaps, he is perhaps deserving of a spot in the Elite, Elite 8. Or... Elite 8? No, no, no. Elite 4? What's the Pokemon? Gosh dang it, I haven't played that game in so long. The final... F the, uh... The Elite... God, someone in the chat is gonna know.